How about you? You were you were had a fiery attitude about you there tonight. Knocked down a couple of big shots. You were making plays for your team tonight. A career high of 25. Just take us through your performance. Um, you know, the first half, I think, completely different play in the first half and the second half. You know, the first half, I, was, I wasn't as aggressive. Um, you know, I just had, you know, especially when Aaron went down, you know, I, had to, I knew I had to step up and uh, make plays, make things happen. What did you do different defensively in the second half to come back in and even have the lead there in the fourth quarter? I think we were just more locked in, you know. Um, they were they were they were getting a lot of transition buckets. I think in the first half, um, I think we just we just decided to lock in, limit their transition, you know, um, and focus on defense. And that's the main thing for us. We were letting our missed shots get to us on defense. Can you talk Speaking about of- your growth this past week? You faced Kevin Durant two times. Go to the Knicks. Can you just talk about that? Um, I think. My- like from November to now, it's been like night and day, you know, I'm just gonna, gonna, it's completely different out there, you know, the game slowed down for me, I uh, feel a lot more comfortable, you know, I'm just playing free now. Mo, you had, I believe, 12 points in the third quarter. What did you guys do differently in the second half that you guys didn't get done in the first? Uh, you know, we, we in the first half, I think we, uh, we were playing against them in, in their half court too often, you know, we weren't really pushing the ball up the court. Trying to get buckets in transition, you know they're they're a good defensive team. They have big guys, so we had to use we had to use it like transition opportunities to get easy baskets. Well, you guys keep knocking. You're right there against these quality teams. Do you? What's the feeling like? You just eventually just gotta break through and get one of these. Here? It sucks. <laughs> it's just yeah. plain and simple. It sucks. I mean, we we're in all these games and we can't close it out. I mean, hopefully we'll get there, but um, it sucks. Maurice, you seem to be gaining a lot of confidence with your outside shot, specifically the corner threes. How have you been approaching improving your outside shot over the last few months? Just getting reps. You know, yeah. just, just keep going at it every day, working at it every day. And I feel like when I shoot that corner three, it's going to go in every time. Um, you just got to make it. Stay in there every time and work out. So, I mean, you just got to keep getting reps on and keep working. No, Thanks, Mark. Do you feel like the, uh, the Thunder can be a model for you guys? I mean, three or four years ago, Russ, Kevin, all those guys were young guys, and, and they've stayed together and, and gotten good. Do you think maybe they can be a model for you know this young team? I mean, yeah. I mean, um, you know, our GM came from the Thunder. I think he's uh, trying to put together a similar team, you know, a young athletic team. If you look around, we got maybe you can eight guys now that's under the age of 22 or 23. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I think he's uh, definitely trying to use them as a model. You know, he, uh, I think he's doing a good job so far. Mm-hmm. Well, what was your perspective on how Kyle handled his first start? Uh, you know, yeah, I was getting on him a little bit. He was nervous in the beginning. You could tell. Yeah, but um, I think he did a great job. You know, um, he was out there. He played hard. He he made big shots. And the biggest thing for me is that he took the big shots. You know, and that's a big step for him. But uh, he he played great. There, there are a couple of instances where you blew past <clears throat> defenders, dunk the others, baseline drive, I forget what quarter was in. How much of that is you just being more comfortable on the court? And how much of that is you being fully healthy, which you obviously, if you were just coming off a major surgery over the summer and, and early fall? I mean, it's, if I see a gap, you know, I, I think I could, I could, I just attack, you know, if I see, see an open space. but. Um, I mean, in this league, you're, you're probably never going to be fully healthy. It's always something, something bothering you. You just got to play through it every night. And um, it's just me being aggressive. You know, I see, I see a gap. I think I could take it and just get to the basket. If if Aaron has to miss some significant time, how would that affect this team? Um, you know, he's he's a leader out there on the floor. He, he brings a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. But um, we, you know, we we played without him before. We got to just do it again, stick together. And, no, we all we got, so we just got it. Okay. Did you have a chance to speak to him at halftime, anything like that? Uh, not really. I was a little. We, we were all in here. We weren't really focused on. He came in, I think, after the meeting, but we were all just upset about how poorly. We, well, we didn't really play that poorly, but how, how we played in the first half. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Maurice. Thank you.